Let's take a look at how we can cook Korean barbecue short ribs in a frying pan. Hello, my foodies. This is me again, Cece. So, 4th of July, it is right around the corner. I want to wish everyone a very, very happy Independence Day. And today, I want to share with you one of my favorite recipes of all time, Korean barbecue short ribs. And I want to show you how you can easily cook them in your frying pan. First, in a large bowl, we're going to add the beef short ribs. frying pan this is what I like to do I use a few pieces of paper towels and just kind of dry the beef because otherwise when you cook them on a frying pan they will not brown easily then in a frying pan we're gonna use medium-high heat add the vegetable oil heat it up a little and then add the beef slices and we're gonna brown them for two minutes on each side And then flip. Cook this side for two minutes as well. And we're just gonna do the same with the rest of the beef. Of course, if you like, you can also put this on a grill or even in your oven. That was super simple and I must say my entire kitchen right now smells so good. So let's give it a try. <laughs> so what we have to do is we can use a pair of kitchen shears and just cut out our ribs. <laughs> you know, I'm super tempted to just use my hands and eat it. You know what? Why not? <laughs>
the meat is meltingly tender it's like so so nice oh it's just like almost like eating out in a restaurant like korean restaurant and it's a little sweet and i love the char on the outside it's just really amazing so guys, comment below and let me know what is your favorite type of barbecue. Um, do you like what type of meat better? Do you like pork, chicken, um, vegetables? You know, for me, I love it when we do Korean barbecue. I also really like it when you do, um, how do we call that mushroom? It's oyster mushroom. We so that's it for today. Have a really awesome Independence Day. Happy July 4th. And I'll see you again in the next episode. Bye now! Subscribe, thumbs up!